so, so today we will be talking about who uh, service crew service crew is basically a very important functionality in uh, in service lightning so we will talk about service crew how to create service crews and uh, how to set up crew management which is very important crew management and then service crew fields fields and that is optional but if you we cover uh, top 3 uh, uh, means uh, important functionality like what is service crew how to create service crews and set up crew management crew management setup is a very important so let me tell you what service crew is what is service crew in fsl service crews are basically the group of users service crews are basically the group of users like one service resource you are assigned that service resource uh, to a specific service appointment right so service crews are a group of users who can be assigned to a service appointment as a unit basis okay so um, it is basically helping you means uh, uh, means, uh, uh, means we, we are creating the service crew it is the out of box functionality <coughs> sorry <coughs> Excuse me, just a second. Mm. <clears throat> uh, Richard, sorry. Uh, mm. Yeah. So we are talking about that. What is <clears throat> service crew? So it's a group of users who can be assigned to a service appointment as an unit. Okay, so if you are creating a group of users uh, that, that will not be behaving as a service resource. Service crew is a separate object in field service lighting and uh, which actually basically has some crew members. If you go to here and you will open uh, 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 means from the app launcher, you will be able to see service crews is a uh, a different actually object and if this service crew has a service crew members which has child relationship with the service crew so service crews and service crew members so if you will just uh, go to all service crew i haven't created any of the service crew as of now so if you click on the service crew you need to set up you need to set up first uh the service uh, uh, means crew management in your org in, in your developer org or in your sandbox whatever so using the crew management tab uh crew management functionality you can able to uh, use the service crews so service crews and service crew members have few of the fields like crew size name is the important thing crew size crew size is basically the ideal number of members on the queue okay so it is still basically doesn't update when you add or remove the members so if you will add or remove the members into the crew so automatically uh, it this field will not be uh this, this field doesn't update update okay now uh suppose uh if i'll create suppose service crew like uh, test service crew as of now just i'm showing you so suppose crew size is uh uh sorry suppose crew size is two okay uh, or four suppose queue size is four so if i'll save that queue so you need to uh, uh now you have a opportunity to able uh, to create some service crew members into it so if you go to new if you go to new so you here look at this the start date time it is the mandatory field of a service crew members like we have created the service territory member under the service uh, territory so that service territory member when we are creating the service territory member we need to assign a service resource into the service territory member similarly you can choose the service resource inside it okay so here that service resource we, uh, that service resource when that service resource will be available the start date time you can mention over here so suppose if i am choosing suppose simon clips so i am uh, choosing the date suppose 17 december this to end date suppose mm -hmm suppose december uh, uh, november 30th okay so now i can make that service um, resource as a leader in this unit okay so i'm not doing that so i'm clicking on save so what is happening here so when you are i'm clicking uh, uh, creating the service to members so i'm just um, defining that this member is basically the resources who belong to the service crew okay so to add the members to a service crew you need to use the crew management tool okay uh, and uh, uh, which actually fsl provides you and from the 
crew management tool easily you can able to um, create the service crew member or delete the service crew member automatically so start it why it is required to create a service crew member because this is the day of a service resource uh, when he will join that uh, join into that that particular crew okay so for that this is the overview means this is the group of service resources it will be behaving as a unit so you can assign a particular service appointment to that unit like it will be using in standard salesforce like case queue kind of thing so when we are creating a queue uh, uh, case in service cloud when we are creating a case so suppose that case assignment rule is there so that case assignment rule if I, that case is assigned to a particular queue or public group so anyone uh, from that queue can pick up that case and automatically work in, or means anyone, um, any member of that particular uh, queue or public group, they can pick up that case and they can work into that case. So that is same kind of behavior service crew is doing here in FSL. Like it is a group of users, it is behaving as a unit and you can assign a service appointment into that unit or service crew. So service crew has a master object and it has a child object service crew member. So to create multiple service crew member, you need to set up a service uh, uh, crew management tool. Okay, so crew management tool, it is basically a feature which Salesforce manage package, means field service manage package is giving to us. So how to set up the crew management tool in Salesforce? That is very important. So first you need to know like, you need to give the FSL admins and dispatcher access, dispatchers the access to drag and drop the service management tool, okay? Where they can easily create the service queue and update the service queue membership. Okay, so how to do that? So first, uh, let me show the question. Okay, so I'm just copying the questions. After I complete that, then I will discuss, okay? I'm just noted down. So what uh, what you need to do to set up a crew management tool? So first of all, as I have mentioned, like uh, means uh, it is give you the flexibility to the Salesforce uh, FSL admins and dispatchers to access the drag and drop service crew management tool so that they can easily create the service crews and update the service crew membership. So how we will do that? So first, uh, there is, are a few important steps you need to remember. First, first, first step is, let me write it here, it's very important. First is, um, if I'll go to here, set up crew management. One by one, we will do that. This is a bit trick. Uh, it's, it's a bit tricky. So uh, first, we need to decide which users need access to the crew management tool. So we need to ensure that each user has at least uh, FSL admin permissions and FSL dispatcher permissions. So first is permission thing. What permission they require? FSL admin and FSL dispatcher. These two permissions they need to have. Dispatcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these two permission they need to have. Now point number two. Point number two is we need to add the crew management tool in our org. In uh, uh means in our org, and you can actually um, able to add that crew management tool in your org. Uh, following uh, two ways. One, we need to create a visual for tab. Create a VF tab. Okay, and um, and then uh, what you need to that, uh, do that. Second point is, uh, second point is, uh, you need to embed that crew management. One is lighting component which Salesforce FSL provides you, uh, which is called, uh, which is a custom lightning component. So which is actually called crew management. So uh, what you need to do, you need to add that, embed that crew management into the lightning page because uh, that component includes a detailed chart that will give us a plenty of space on the page. So it's recommended to add the queue management tab. Okay, now third is uh, we need to create a permission set with access uh, or with actually um, create a permission set. Let me write like this. We need to create permission set and 
once when once we will create the permission set we need to give the accesses to the a uh, few of the elements which fsl provides us and we need to assign that to the relevant users i will tell you which exact permission set we need to add so first one by one we need to do that so first let's let's create uh, okay let's uh, we will decide that fsl admin and fsl dispatcher that permission set definitely i will i uh, being a fsl administrator i will have so let me let me check once okay let me check once i am a fsl admin if i'll go to the user yeah let me go to the user uh, yeah uh darren mac okay so darren mac i i myself darren mac okay so what i'll do just go to the permission set okay admin permission is there and dispatcher permission is there so first criteria is being fulfilled okay now go to the uh, next criteria i need to create the vf tab and i need to set up the queue management okay so how to create a visual force tab so what you need to do so first here uh, like write tabs if i'll go to the tabs yeah so just scroll down okay visual force uh, tabs i am clicking on new okay mm, so uh one page which fsl provides us the page is just scroll down fsl uh, under uh, fsl dot crew management page uh let me check it yeah uh crew management this one fsl a uh, crew management page so this is the crew management page so just let me check it uh, okay crews yeah this one fsl dot crew management i i i uh, picked up the correct one okay so this is the queue management suppose tab level i am giving the tab level suppose uh, queue management uh tab name is same suppose tab style i am giving a tab style uh, suppose this one so anything so description it is for use for queue management i am not putting it is a uh, not a mandatory field so um, okay apply one tab visibility as of now i am making default on for all profiles include tab i'm saving this yeah so my visual force uh, tab has been created okay so now what is the next step next step is i need to embed the crew management custom lightning component in the lightning page okay so if i'll go to here lightning sorry okay so i'm putting here so i'll create a app builder and i'll create a page first okay suppose i'm giving the name as suppose crew management Okay, header and uh, left sidebar. Yeah. So this is the crew management. So here I can able to find out crews management. Look at this. This is actually basically provided by FSL 
it is a standard uh, lightning uh, fsl uh, standard managed package it, it, it's it, it is actually installed uh, it is actually while we are uh, installing managed package fsl managed package it, it came with the managed package okay as a component so this queue management man managed package is actually provided by fsl so now what i'll do i'll just add this component here Yeah, look at this. It's loading the queue management gang. It will be exactly, not exactly showing the dispatcher, not exactly similar to the dispatcher console, but uh, 80 to 85 percent similarities have it has uh, for, uh, it is as a similarity with the dispatcher console. So you can use this specific queue management tab when you are using post uh, service resources as a unit in a service queue functionality, leveraging the service queue functionality. So you can use this queue management tab, tab and assigning um, the service appointment to the service uh, queue using multiple territories also. So now I'm doing, I'm clicking on save. Activate this page to make it, make it visible to all your users. Yeah, I'm activating that. Yeah, this is the queue management, lightning experience, mobile navigations, as of whatever you want to do, you can uh, do it from here. Okay, so now I'm just page setting as of now, I'm saving it. Yeah. Activation successful, I'm saving it. Okay, so now I'm just going back. Yeah, so I have set it up. So now, so now, now, Point number two, point number uh, two, we have done that. We have created a VF tab. We have created the queue management lightning. Com we have embedded the queue management lightning component in the lightning page. Okay. So because if this component includes the detailed chart, it can, it can give us the plenty of space of the page. Okay. So now the point number three is you need to create a permission set with the access of the uh, FSL provided elements. And as we need to assign that, to the relevant users so how can i do that so we need to create a permission set first i'm going to set up suppose i'm going to the permission set i'll create a permission set For screw management, okay. API name is this, okay. Uh, now I am uh, saving that. Okay, now what I will do, I will uh, assign some permissions uh, which Salesforce uh, provides to us. So if I'll go to the custom permissions, edit it, yeah. So here I can able to see few of the permission is there like FSL underscore, uh, suppose, let me open it. Oh, just a second. Let me just go back. Uh, we need to have few of the permission set uh, to create uh, that uh, uh, FSL uh, crew, man uh, crew management tab, which is uh, uh, FSL crew resource light box. Uh, FSL, FSL crew resource light box. This, just a second, let me check it. Yeah. 
I'm not able to see that. Uh, just a second. Go back. Just going back to the permission set. Okay, yeah. Visual force page access. So light box is a visual force. Okay, so okay, yeah. Now it is coming. It's not coming under the custom permissions. Basically, it is a visual force tab. So mistakenly, I am searching in the under the custom permissions. Okay, so my bad. So what you need to do? You need to create a permission set with the access of this following elements. I will choose here and assign. We need to assign this to the relevant users. Okay, so first crew management visual force tab. So okay. So first is FSL crew crew management visual force page, which I have given the permissions in the tab. That's fine. Now, this is the permissions FSL crew resource slide box. That is very important. Okay. Then FSL crew management, this permission is important. This is the mandatory permissions we need to add for the add to the relevant users who will use that crew management uh, setup or crew management wizard. So now uh, crew is a light box one. Yeah, this one. This one is important also. Now crew work order light box, crew work order line item light box. This all this five uh, uh, visual force pages are very very important. Now what I'll do here, uh, just a second. I'm just scrolling down. Yeah, this one. FSL, FSL VF0996 work order. Uh, uh work order line item light box 0998 work order line item light box this is also required okay so now i'm just saving this now what you need to do this permission set visual force access you have created now i'm going to the apex class access one apex class you need to give an access let it open yeah so if you'll create edit Click on edit. So here one option is let me just scroll down. Uh, FSL crew management uh, add. Uh, you need to add that FSL crew management apex class. That is important. That is a mandatory apex class. You need to give the permissions. FSL crew management user settings. It's not required. So I'm saving. This. Okay. So this Apex class, I have given the permissions. Now what do you need to do? I have Darren Macmillan, means I myself in my developer org, I have created myself a FSL admin and I have given myself a FSL admin and FSL dispatcher permissions, okay? So if I would like to access that crew management tab, I need to assign this permission set to myself. So I'm going to the users. Yeah, so in the permission set assignment, edit assignment, crew management permissions, which I have created custom permissions, I need to add it and save it. Okay, so this user has this permissions. Now, let me open that crew management. It is properly open or not, we'll check it. So crew management. Okay, so it's it is sh it's showing to get started select a territory. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that is that is that is that is a question. Crew management. Why this crew management? Uh, that I need to check it also. That this crew management I have created it before. Uh, one crew management already I have created in before in my day work or automatically two, uh, two uh, crew management is automatically created. So it should not be the behavior, but I need to check it that it was previously created or not. Uh, let me just collect your question. Yeah. 
it is a question that is also i have checked it so now i have created this app page okay uh, let me open that okay so if i'll go to here Lightning App Builder. So if I'll go to here, let me check why this two. One I have created today. This is uh, yeah, 17th 11, 9 a.m. So this I have created today. Okay. So another one, why this is coming from where it is coming? Okay. So uh, Richard, I'll check it from where it is coming. Uh, queue management. No problem yeah okay so now what i'll do I, i'll check it from my side why two is coming that is uh i need to check it because i have created it is previously i have created any uh, uh lightning record uh, app pages or it was not present but still it is coming okay so now i'm selecting one territory first let me choose one territory suppose this territory okay select Suppose, okay, customer first. It will take time to come that service appointment here. Just a second, it will come. Just a second. This I have created before. So if I'm selecting all and save it, yeah, now it's coming. Yeah, so look at this. Here, new service queue button is there. I have given that permission, so new service queue button is there. So if I'll just click on new service queue, yeah. This page is coming. You can create a service queue from here. Okay. So you can create, suppose, mm, uh, you are, okay. So uh, suppose LA service queue. Okay. Suppose queue size is uh, two, three, four. Okay. Gantt level, you can put the color here. So I am putting, suppose, color is yellow, or I can put in, suppose, color is green. Okay, assign the crew to a service territory. So I'm putting this uh, service uh, resource to that, As assign this uh, the crew to the service territory. So I'm assigning this service crew to this Los Angeles demo service territory. Start date is 17th, end date is suppose 30th November. Next, what will be the skills? You can assign skills to the uh, crew. So based on your business priorities or based on, based on your business uh, requirement, you can choose the skills to the queue. So I'm just as of now choosing cable installation expertise, water repairing service, which I have just created for the demo purpose. Now, crew leader, if I go to here, actually in developer org, I have James Jones and Simon Cliff, two service resources available, but James Jones I have deactivated just because of licensing issue. So I'm choosing Simon Cliff here, okay? So suppose end date is 30th. So 17th November to 30th November, uh, uh you can uh you can uh make simon cliff uh, as a leader for this service group okay so now uh summary okay this service resource is already assigned to a crew during the selected test okay i have created a te test service group so let me do one thing let me delete this one yeah so if I will delete this, so my service resource crew member also deleted. So let me go to here. Yeah, so now I'm going back. Next, now now the error disappeared, okay? Now uh, I'm just clicking on next. So this is the summary. The following crew will be created. 
Q is this Q search for means you can add up to four service resources into this queue. Okay, so you can uh, add the skills as an expertise into this uh, service queue and the territory details are there. You can make a queue leader also. Now saving it. So your service queue has been generated. Look at this. This is your service queue. So if you have multiple service resources, you can add over here. Okay. So now what I'll do, what I'll do, so I can create a service queue here. So now what I'll do, uh, suppose uh, if I'll go to here, all service groups, LA service group, which I have created there, that is available here also. So in the related from the service queue member also from here, you can able to add uh, uh, you can able to add that uh, service queue also so suppose um, let me sh check that i would like to add james jones also so let me deactivate some users but this is if i'll go to the users if i'll deactivate the optimization one uh, this optimization is actually deactivated as we have completed the optimizations module so let me deactivate this user and make James Jones. Okay, so deactivate that user. And I'll make James Jones as an activate users. And I will actually, uh, actually, I would like to add uh, one specific uh, user into this, uh, two, two users into this service group. So if I'll make it active, let me check. Yeah, I'm able to make it active. Permission set assignment. No, it's resource permissions are there and how these are the resource. That's fine. So I'm a FSL bad admin. I can I can create the service too. I can add it. Okay. So if I go to here. Queue management. So uh, if I just save it. Saving my changes. So in the last wishless demo. Uh, so what I'll do. Match crew skills. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just go to the service resource and I'll make James Jones as a same territory. Let me check. If I'll go to service resource, what is the service territory assigned to James Jones? If I'll go to here, first of all, this service resource is not active. I need to make it active first. If I edit it, Make it active. Uh, James Jones, uh, that's fine. Capital you know, scheduling constant. It's not required. So I'm just I'm saving this service resource. I'll go to the related. Okay, service skills is water repairing. That's fine. Territory is Los Angeles demo. That's fine. So if I just open the territory member, let me check the first uh, start date 11th to 30th. So that's fine. Mm, that's fine. So James Jones uh, should be, uh, I can able to add James Jones into the service group. So if I'll go to here, I'll add James Jones. Date is from today. And date is suppose 30th November, LA service group, which I have already created. Okay, so now if I'll just refresh this page, Look at this, James Jones and service uh, Simon Cliff, they both are available under, law, law, under Los Angeles demo, this territory. Okay, so you can uh, add up to uh, more than, uh, you can up to add, add up to four service resources into this service crews. Okay, so now what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll create, okay, so now, now uh, I need to show you, I need to uh, tell you that, uh, if you have already created uh, that service queue means uh, 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 queue management, so you need to manage the uh, ser service queue membership. Membership in the sense, so you need to uh, being a field service admin. What they do basically, they have they are efficiently managing uh, the service queues to accommodate the fast changing field service schedules. Okay, mm, so basically, right skills and adjust membership 
dates to match the appointment times and they need to view all queue schedule and members in one place so that is the main important thing of uh, uh, the service group feature yeah so let me uh max numbers uh yeah i yeah you are correct you assume that is four active resources again against a service queue yeah that's fine uh but uh, there is max number of members it is 12 uh if sl provided it is 12 but i will check that this release this uh, uh means maximum number of members if this number is getting increased or not i'll check it but previously it was in 12 maximum 12 uh, service uh, crew members you will be able to add it there is a limit okay okay so i'm just copied it and paste it okay okay so this uh, service, uh, uh, these are the service resource. So uh, they are service queue members. They are associated with the Los Angeles demo territory in the service queue. So now what do we need to do? Uh, so uh, if I will uh, create a service appointment, okay, from the means if I'm opening that queue management tab, so I can assign uh the service appointment into into the crew schedule tab look at this this is crew schedule in this crew schedule you can able to assign uh, uh, uh using the match of crew skills you can able to assign the service appointment into this um uh, service resources okay so once you will able to assign that service appointment into the service resources so any one of this queue they can able to pick up that service appointment based on their availability and they can able to start work on that so we will do that lab in the next session okay that how to assign that service appointment to that queue and anyone can pick up that service appointment and work on that because we need to discuss few uh, uh it's before creating that we need to discuss some configurations like how the membership start and how the membership end because when you are creating the service appointment schedule start date and schedule end date is populated that means the job schedule starts and job schedule end that is populated in the service crew member what will happen you will able to see membership start and membership end for a uh, service appointment so you will able to um, see that okay so we will discuss these things in the next sessions and i'll do the lab in the next sessions okay so find how how to find out the candidates and how to find out the resources few of the functionalities 